Okay, it looks like this is going to work, so uh, I'm quite chuffed about that. So this is where I'm going to sit and uh, tell you. So Liana, my uh, lovely friend, she um, she's in London. This doesn't happen. She's in London, and not only is she in London, but she's in London, and she has a few extra minutes to spare. And I'm going to uh, bring Emma with me, and we're going to go and see her in her hotel in Shoreditch. Come in! Were you just filming? Yes. You would look lovely in this cold boat today. I, I don't want the green one. Because it chokes me. It chokes you? Yeah. Can I inherit this one then? Yeah. And you have this one, I'll find you another pair. I'm sorry. I just thought we should start getting ready. I'll leave you, I'll give you another 20 minutes. You can find me a top. I can put a top on. You could wear your dress as we're going to see Anna with the red ones. Yeah, but then I would like my grey tights because I think they would be nicer to that. Well, I can fix that. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, then I'm going to put this in my wardrobe then. See, now I'm getting close as well. This is going to be a good day, I'm telling you. Hang on, everyone, hang this back up again. Oh, yes, no, I'll put them in your drawer. No, I'm going to go my wardrobe. But I'll yeah, come and fix your whore. Whore. <laughs> your whore. What? No, I'll come and fix your hair in 15 minutes. Oh, Jesus, I'm sorry. <laughs> she didn't just say that, but yeah, she did actually. She didn't mean it though. Swedish and English are sometimes um, funny friends, I can tell you that. Um, what we call hair in Swedish, hår, um, sounds very much like a very bad word in English that no one should say really. Um, where was I? Liana, yes. Um, my memory is ridiculous, so I can't tell you exactly how long ago it was. But basically what happened was I put a post on Facebook many years ago. I'm thinking we must be talking like, I don't know, 2008, so maybe 10 years ago. Um, about accessibility on buses and how it annoys me that it's so hard to go on local transport if... Um, Sorry, local transport. On public transport, um, if you're disabled, because we are supposed to be able to go on, but we don't. So, but that's for another video. However, uh, Liana, who was uh, in the same group as me, because um, you know about Facebook groups, so we were in a group that had nothing to do with disability, and I actually didn't know that she was disabled. But she uh, supported my uh, post and said, oh yeah, this is so important, we really need this. And that's how we started talking to each other online. And the funny thing happened was that, uh, the funny thing about all of this was that the more we talked, the more we both, I think, felt that, hang on, I have spent a lifetime trying to explain what it is like to live in this body that doesn't work like a normal body and I have never found anyone who understood um, haven't even really felt listened to and in Liana I found someone who not only listened and understood but actually had exactly the same experiences I had and it wasn't just that but there were many other things as well where we felt like we were very very closely aligned in our experiences it was about family about work about dreams about goals about aspirations about you know things that happened to us at various stages of our lives interests I don't know. It's it's um, it's almost like discovering that you have 
a sister that you didn't know of and as a bonus finding out that this sister is going to be a very close friend because you don't know when you meet someone but with Leona I um, I felt very strongly that we had a connection from the start and um, this is lovely because friendships are hard uh, when you're a spoonie they're hard to form they are even harder to maintain uh, most of us very soon find that we are beginning to lose friends and family because we become very bad at staying in touch we become very bad at remembering the things that are important for people that you remember etc and when that happens people tend to walk away and that's not because they are bad people it's because they don't understand and uh, they get hurt and they get sad and so self-preservation uh, kicks in and they walk away but I kind of felt in Liana that here is someone who understands and here is someone with whom I don't have to feel guilty all the time with someone who I don't need to worry about how she's going to behave or how she's going to feel if I can't do things when we had planned them or if I can't sort of work up the energy to do things. Um, it's so funny, whenever I start talking about something I realise that in this one little thing Today, Sunday, 4th of February, I am going to meet one of my best, best friends. I mean, I don't have that many, to be honest, but I have a few people who are very close to me, and this is definitely one of my favourite people in the world, Diana. Uh, I made a video about her a, a few months ago that uh, you could go and watch. Uh, it's quite cute and she is too so it's worth, worth watching for that alone anyway today she is in London in Shoreditch at a hotel where she's going to stay for the next couple of days because she's doing something so cool you won't believe it I'm going to tell you about that too later or maybe she will on camera you will see however I'm going to get to see her and obviously I can't look like this when I do so Here's what's going to happen. Uh, my daughter Emma, who's going to come with me, uh, brought me uh, my pair of grey. What are you? Tights. A pair of grey tights. And my nice black dress that I hardly ever wear. Um, but today is a black dress, grey tights, fix my hair kind of moment. And. then we'll continue this so see you soon okay so right now I'm in the car outside the house ready to um, go into Shoreditch which is gonna be interesting because it's only the second time that I have to drive and find my way into Central um, going to Whitechapel quite a lot to uh, drop off or pick up my son from his work but um, now we're going to try to find a hotel in Shoreditch where my bestest friend is uh, waiting for us. Just going to see if uh, Emma is coming. So, comsy comsy, MC MC. Let's go put you in the back for now. Please don't fall down. Um, I brought one of many gifts I have for Liana lying around at home. This particular one um, I bought as a Christmas present for her, I think it must be three years ago. Probably three, maybe even four actually. Um, from Paper Chase and uh, it's a book, I bought one for myself 
with a slightly different pattern. This one has butterflies on it and I know she loves but butterflies. And I thought it would be pretty cool if we could both have a notebook slash diary kind of thing to record our special dreams and goals and whatnot. Well, she can obviously write whatever she wants in hers, but that was the idea. However, I never sent it to her. And why did I not do that? Well, again, good topic for a special video. This is what I do. I buy gifts for people. I make gifts for people. I do it all year round. I see something or I think of something that would suit someone I love. So I make it or I buy it. And then in the end, I don't send it uh, because a part of me feels Here is Emma, coming now. Because a part of me feels um, stupid about it. And uh, I don't know why. Something deeply flawed, I suppose. Too to me, flawed. that is. 